Ha! <laughs> Fearsome dog. What's up? Yo, it's your homie Jay Wu. Just hanging out. Garage is a mess. Like, this is embarrassing. I'm sorry you even have to look at it, but. Whoa, whoa! Clean your garage, loser! I got some relaxing, like, vibe videos, bro, from uh, my vacation, because I went on vacation. But before I went on vacation, this freaking happened. Or actually, this happened, and then I came home to a letter. Sweet. So, like, basically have to have my vehicles parked on all surfaces. I had one vehicle parked on like two wheels on the dirt or in the grass and then inoperable vehicles or something, whatever. So like that was cool. Uh, just, you know, more BS that us car guys have to deal with with like townships and I guarantee you it's because of that. We'll talk about that in a minute. But anyways, RX-7 is doing great, man. Everything's been going good. I've been just taking care of it. It's still driving and it's holding and I'm beating on it and enjoying it. Wow. I did somebody ask me about the RX-7. Shout out to caring about my video and saying, hey man, I was watching your video and I'm like, I don't hear much about the RX-7. So I'm thinking to myself like, yo, let's do some video on the RX-7. So, but you know, if I'm gonna do a video on the RX-7, it's gonna be a little ratchet. I know this channel is like a weird range of cars, but this is how it's gonna go, you know? Um, we're gonna enjoy that and I appreciate everyone who supports this little car. Let me know in the comments if you want me to track this car some more. Let me know in the comments if you're feeling that. RX-7's doing good. Bike, you don't care about the bike. No one cares about the bike. This is my Raider. So this is a Dodge Raider. It's it's like a fat Samurai. So it's like if a Sam, like a Suzuki Samurai and a, a, like a Jeep or a Range Rover humped and made a kid, this is what you get. And it's, it's pretty cool. We have to put a muffler on it though. It's really loud. And that's probably not helping. I'm pretty sure that the neighborhood called on me because I was driving around the neighborhood. It's like super loud, but it's a five speed. We'll put a new clutch in it. It's got two high, four low, neutral, four high. It's got lockers in the front. The radio works actually really, really good. I might sell this car. I might, I don't know. I don't think the gas gauge works. I'm pretty sure because of the fuel pump upgrade. And then I know that the temperature gauge works. It's got 163. It's got the nice orange cluster dials. I like these a lot. Really light up there. Classic windows. Snorkel. Here's the engine bay. I was messing with the carb a little bit. So there's something gummed up in one of the jets and it was acting really weird. So this is the reason why it's aside right now. I'll put it back on later or something like that. Good enough. It's got some performance header. Obviously it makes like, you know, 1200 horsepower. So much faster. I got a Wix filter. Obviously everyone uses Wix filters. So that's like another 100 horsepower. So we're about, you know, 1300 horsepower. Um, I got like dual fuel pressure gauges because there's just so much fuel pressure going on because there's just so much motor. So obviously we're gonna take this and we're going to, um, I think it probably, you know, probably go off-roading like right here because my neighbors love me so much right now. I think, I think it'll entertain them. It's HHR after off-roading, nothing happened. Like that's it. All right, so that's what's been going on. But listen, man, enjoy these videos. Enjoy my vacation video. I want to share it with you. Share my vacation. Pretty amazing spots up in the UP. See you guys next week. Peace. Jeez, dude. Storm. Push his luck. All right, so when a lot of people watch like videos in Japan, it's all about the little places they go to get food. We went to Cheese House and we got blood cheese. And this is like a big Michigan thing. Cheese and beef jerky is what you live off of when you go up north. Let's go!
The gas stations look like cabins. Ties. World's neon. world's biggest zip ties. I'm about to get some. The bats will survive! Here you go! Come on, come get it! Come on! We're gonna try to find camping, but a lot of these places are always full. So hopefully we can grab something so we can sleep for the night. Alright, looks like this is where we're staying for the night because it's getting late. Now we're going to a beach. Climbing hills. Oh, dude, sweet. We just found a magic beach. Going down a hill. Whee! You know, we, we have the sun set over here. And we have the night sky and the moon ellipsing over here. Sick. We're taking some random off-road trail. It's early in the morning. We're in some wrong turn ass shit. Oh, all right, so it's like 8 a.m. We're in the middle of a two trail. I don't know exactly where it goes, but I'm down a little bit, but we gotta go to Sugarloaf Mountain. That's pretty nice. This is fun. Got our breakfast on at the M28 Tavern Grill. It was real good. Super small towns. And we're at the end of it. That was it. All right, guys, so we're back on the road. We're gonna go try to find some waterfalls, and then we're gonna go hike some hills.
army vehicle day or something. All right, guys, so we've got camp set up. If you have watched any of the camper car episodes, we make a bed in the back to sleep in. Obviously, this is after a few days. So let me fix that. We have added, we added an air mattress. So twin size air, air mattress will do just fine, but we use the memory foam. This memory foam for a single, we're gonna upgrade to a twin because we're getting gaps when I'm trying to sleep. I'm sleeping two people in here and it's freaking horrible. But for a single person, it's great. But if we get the twin size memory foam mixed with the mattress, perfect. take on a really dangerous part of our journey. As I am a beast, 
then hiking up mountains is something I should not do. So we're going to do that. It's a little baby mountain, but for fat people, this is this is a game ender, man. It's a game ender. So um, wish me luck. All right, guys, well, my fat ass did it. Oh, yay. Okay, now we're in a new spot, and it's called the Canyon Falls, so we're going to try to find those. There's a trail to get there. Super nature. Freaking awesome. This is freaking crazy. I feel like I'm in Tomb Raider. Oh. Oh, wait. Crazy. Crazy. Wild. All right, so we got the canyon here. We found a bear cave. So amazing. Well. That concludes the trip, guys. I think I'm gonna head home. This has been an awesome time. Wow.